Hi there. Well, it's been absolutely freezing in this garage for the past couple of days. Um, so the making of this little 10 V has slowed down a bit. Um, but anyway, uh, it's got a bit milder today. So I'm going to have a go at making the cylinder covers for the 10 V. So the cylinder covers are made out of this piece of cast iron. And uh, what I'll do is I'll put it in the three jaw chuck. I'll face one end. Then I'll um, turn part of it down to one and three eighths of an inch. That's not a critical diameter, so it needs to be there or thereabouts. Then I'll switch it round again, and I'll face the other end and turn the rest to uh, one and three eighths of an inch. Okay, so just before tightening up the jaws, I put a spacer in here just to offset it uh, from the face of the uh, chuck, and uh, that'll give me. A decent amount to go out on this side and having tightened it up I shall push this spacer out now because I don't want this flying into my uh, face or the visor Okay, so the tool's on the edge, and I've zeroed both the uh, compound slide and the cross slide. Now the cross slide in total needs to be moved in by 0.8 of a millimetre. So I'll move it in by uh, 0.2 of a millimetre increments. When I start the machine, I'll uh, move the cross slide in by 7 millimetres. Move the compound slide in again by point two. One, two, three, four. So that's uh, worked out very well, happy with that, nice fit. So now the idea is to um, create a boss on this other side, so this will be the outside boss. Um, so I need to leave a gap of an eighth of an inch. And I've calculated that I need to go in by 
around about 7 millimetres to achieve a 13 16 of an inch boss. We're running at 200. Fingers crossed. Seven. Well, that seems to work okay. So the parting tool is actually a sixteenth of an inch wide, which is the same width as I need the boss to be. Um, so the idea now will be to um, position the parting tool right at the side of the groove I've just made and then fully part off. Um, so again I'll, I'll do this under power feed. Um, I, I seem to get a better cut at 200 rpm when I got closer to the centre. So initially I'll, I'll cut at around about 100 rpm I think. and. Um, I'll, when I get closer, I'll then um, adjust the parting tool to move the parting tool out a bit. I don't want to move it out at this moment in time because that might introduce some flex. So, fingers crossed. So I'm really happy with the way that's turned out and the parting on the uh, SC4 lathe uh, went really really well, totally trouble free. So uh, now it's time to get on with the other cover and uh, the other one is a little bit more complicated. Ok so for the uh, bottom cover I'm going to uh, first of all uh, machine the uh, external boss but before uh, doing the machining bit, uh, I need to uh, drill and tap a hole um, to a British Standard brass thread, um, 5 sixteenths by 26 TPI, and that needs to be 9 30 seconds of an inch deep, which is around about 7.14 millimeters. So I'll, I'll round that up to 7.2 millimeters. So um, I've already centre drilled and um, First of all I'll um, drill a 4mm hole, then a 6mm hole, and then I'll finish it off by uh, drilling a 6.9mm hole, and uh, then I'll tap it. Now this lathe here has got um, a nice um, little dial on the tailstock, um, so I can quite accurately fingers crossed, um, drill to uh, 7.2 millimetres in depth. OK, so off camera I drilled to uh, 6.9 millimetres in diameter and uh, I've decided that before tapping I shall drill the other side um, and that needs to be drilled and reamed to 5 30 seconds of an inch. Now the smallest or the closest drill bit I've got um, to that is 3.7 millimetres. So I'm just going to drill 3.7 millimetre hole. I'll probably go in about half an inch but it's only going to be an eighth of an inch once it's parted off. Um, once I've drilled I'll then ream to 5 30 seconds of an inch, but I'll do all that off camera. Well I've just concluded that a 6.9mm drill bit was uh, just a, a wee bit too small uh, for this tap, so uh, I've re-drilled at 7mm uh, in diameter.
Well, tapping was an interesting exercise. I just couldn't get to the bottom of this hole with this bottom tap. So I ended up having to uh, grind the end off uh, using the bench grinder. Um, but it seems to have worked out okay in the end. Well, this is exciting. The boss uh, needs to be um, a quarter of an inch in depth and five eighths of an inch in diameter. And um, to make sure I'm getting a quarter of an inch depth, what I've done is I've put the tool on the edge of the piece and um, zeroized my gauge here, my uh, new little toy. And uh, then I've moved the carriage back, if you look at the, the gauge, 250 thou. And then just set my carriage stop here. So now I can quite happily move the carriage forward and backwards making sure that uh, I won't go beyond a quarter of an inch. So what I'll do now is I'll uh, make some cuts uh, ten thou in ten thou increments uh, until I get to uh, five eighths of an inch in diameter. This is a pretty good fit. Perfect. So the idea now before parting off is to um, cut in with this parting tool um, round about um, seven and a half millimetres. But I'll actually cut to about seven and a third, seven point, maybe seven point three millimetres in. Um, just to create this small boss here. And then once I've done that, I'll move the parting tool. Um, I think it's a, uh, uh, what would it be, a 32nd of an inch to the left, and then fully part it off. So I'm using power feed on the cross slide, 100 RPM, and we're going to go in 7.3 millimetres. point three. Well I hope this is going to work. Um, I've moved the carriage to the left by 31 thou uh, which is uh, 1 32nd of an inch and now I'm going to have a go at just fully parting it off. Um, fingers crossed it won't go to the right So the uh, small boss is uh, 36 thou over side, so divided by 2, that's 18, so 18 thou to come off.
Perfect. Well, that seemed uh, like a rather time-consuming process, but uh, I think I got there in the end. Um, so what have I learned? Um, well, the SC4 lathe, I, I, when I first got it I was um, originally concerned that there wasn't um, a carriage lock on it. Well, there sort of is a carriage lock, but it isn't really effective. And uh, I was worried that when I was going to do some parting off that I might encounter some, some difficulties. But the actual parting off went really, really well. So I'm ever so pleased with uh, the lathe uh, having done that. Um, and now it's getting ever so cold in this garage. So I've decided to uh, leave the drilling of the holes in the cylinder cover until later. And uh, I'll cover that in a, another video and, and hopefully show the assembly onto the cylinder as well. So uh, hope to see you later and uh, Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm.